it's Kay. Welcome back to my channel, The Organized Soprano. If you're new here, hello. My name is Kay. I'm a professional home organizer and I'm here to inspire you to live a more organized life. So of course, uh, I have just moved, well not just moved, but I just moved about a month ago and I'm still in the process of organizing spaces. Because my channel is about inspiring you to make your home more functional and cozy and hygge and all that stuff, I have been uh, tolerating spaces that have been disorganized for a little bit because I like to film the process for you. So today, I am fed up with my bathroom drawer. So when I have moved into this house, basically the first thing I did was unpack all the boxes and just shove them in places and I didn't organize anything and then I got busy with the opera uh, which is opening this week maybe who knows because the thing that's happening right now you know wash your hands that kind of thing oh Clover's here he wants to say hello here is the man he wants to say hello hello Clover <laughs> he is here this is the man the myth the legend Clover Clover James here he is okay please stop looking at my face stop stop that we are we talked about that okay we talked about Anyway, so the deal is that this is our brand new master bathroom and very nice that we have two sinks, his, hers. That's been established. So we each have one storage door underneath and they're both, well, my husband's is better. I'm not gonna show you his because he's got less stuff, but mine is a disaster. Toilet, shower, we love it all going on. Actually, this shower is really nice. It has a rain shower head, luxurious, we love that. Clover loves it. Well, he doesn't, <laughs> he doesn't know. But let me show you what's been going on in my bathroom drawer. Oh my goodness. Take a look at all of the nonsense. We've got like this little bit here, this little hair thing. We just, it's just insane and we've had to straighten it out today. Now in an effort to keep my channel somewhat educational, I'm gonna go ahead and talk you through the process of my decluttering and organizing and how I do it. This process is my own method. It doesn't work for everybody, but I find in my processes and working with a lot of people that this method works for most individuals. So uh, it might be able to help you in your decluttering and organizing process. And I find that it helps me in my decluttering and organizing process. So the first thing I'm going to do every time, I tell you to do this every time, and I, there's no exception, almost no exception, is to take everything out of the space, no matter how intimidating or scary that may seem. Taking everything out is gonna help you see exactly how much stuff you have, and it's actually gonna help you see how much space you have in the empty space. When you take everything out, you should separate it into categories that work for you. Try not to get too micro-categorizational into it, because sometimes that can, that can be more of a hindrance than a help. Try to keep your categories broad, and if there's stuff that doesn't belong in one room, don't take it there if it's like not closed, just leave it by the door and then you can deal with it after you're done with the current room that you're in. In my last space, we only had one bathroom and it was a space for all of my like skincare and hair things and all the things I used, not every day, but occasionally, you know, like every occasionally you would use like your face mask or your, you know, hair mask, but it wasn't kind of, it wasn't the kinds of things I used every day. Now that we have a second bathroom, I think I can rehome some of that stuff in the second bathroom where I'll do most of my like spa, skin treatments, that kinds of thing. Because the second bathroom has a bathtub, that'll be a great place to have those kinds of things. You know, I'll have a bath, I'll have some wine, I'll do my skincare, you know, that kind of thing. If this is your first time visiting my channel, the story is we sold our one bedroom condo in the city and had to move for three months into the suburbs in an empty house and all of the rest of our stuff that was not essential went into storage. And then when we moved back here, I found that I could live actually with a lot less. All right, so my camera's gonna run out of batteries, so I'll change the batteries and then we'll get started. All right, I'm gonna put on a YouTube video to listen to in the background while I do this, but I've got a little bit of space here to make some piles, so uh, I'm gonna take everything out and then we'll review what's going on and then we'll, I'll check back in with you there. I think it's uh, some gossip videos I'm gonna just listen to. I just, I, I low hanging fruit, I know, I know. I've been trying to take my eyes off you Oh girl, it ain't easy, just let go of that body Why you gotta keep flirting like you do? I waited so patiently, but you don't seem sorry I still a little see you trying to make some plans 
Now come on, baby, later in the PM. Hope that you would understand. I think that if you get to know me, you see I'm way more than nice. I wanna hold you. Okay, I've taken everything out of the drawer and it's definitely a little dirty. I should wash this. I'm gonna put a liner in here um, so that I can protect the bottom of the drawer from now on because, you know, we got some liquids in here, so we need to protect the bottom. But I um, definitely wanna vacuum out the, this nonsense too. Like, ew, what happened down here? And this is like construction madness probably. Ooh, look, sneak peek in the husband's drawer. Like his drawer was so much more organized than mine. Look at it, jealous. So here's the stuff I, took out. Um, I got some shaving stuff over here, dental business. We got toothpaste out. I don't know how we're gonna rock that, but we're gonna rock it. I have all of these supplements and medications. <laughs> Probably don't belong in here because I know you're not supposed to keep your medications in a humid place. Um, so I'm gonna move these out into uh, the linen closet where the rest of the medications are. This is the only one I take regularly is this iron supplement. So um, I might keep this in here, we'll see. Um, but the rest of this stuff can go, especially like the pain relievers and the Advil and all that stuff that we are not focusing on. There we go. And definitely the Beano, cause like you take that right before you eat. So I'm gonna move that out of here. It just ended up in my stuff. Well, I take the vitamin C and the iron at the same time because supposedly they make each other work better. No, the vitamin C makes the iron <laughs> absorb better um, so these are like a pair but uh, so I'll keep these together but I'll move everything else out q-tips and just cotton balls that I, I don't use so I think I'm gonna give this to my husband and see if he wants to use it because um, he's more of a q-tip user than me I don't I don't need a q-tip we got coffee because coffee this is the pile with all of my hair stuff this is <laughs> just patty liners this is the skincare that I think I'm gonna move out of here because I don't use this on the regular. I only use it when I'm, you know, doing spa night for myself. So I'm gonna use, I'm gonna move these into the other bathroom where spa night happens. And this is stuff that was like random. So it, um, it just ended up there because of, you know, moving and all that stuff. So we've got like a nail polish, like a nail scissor and like the nail polish remover and like a random Aquaphor, uh, a lipstick and a foundation. <laughs> And I, this is only for traveling, so I'm gonna move that in my travel box. And this just needs to be thrown away. This is the old Revita lash. This works great, by the way, for growing your lashes. Definitely would recommend. Also got some wet wipes over here. This was the, like, the Neutrogena wipe container, but I figured that the Cottonelle wipes would fit in there, and they do. They, they fit in there a bit squishy and snug, but they fit in there, so this will be like the, the spare, and this is like the one that's currently in use. All of my skincare and body care is here. So I'm gonna go through some of this stuff and see if there's anything that I don't wanna use on the daily and just remove it. So that'll be great. I still have a little bit of this from my last apartment. We'll see um, if I have enough to cover the bottom here. Let's see. I think, yeah, I think I've got enough. Let me just go ahead and grab some scissors. not perfect but it's pretty good um, and now I want to start putting things back in the space that I'm definitely going to use on an everyday basis and I don't think it's really that much stuff so there may be room for some extra stuff in here that I don't use every day like maybe backup stuff or like you know extra packages of things but um, let's just play by ear and see how it goes and that's really the name of the game is uh, just going with the flow uh, there's not a lot of advanced planning you can do unless you've played around with things a little bit so it's kind of like doing 
a puzzle that you can solve a bunch of different ways. Kind of like playing Zelda Breath of the Wild if you've played that. If you've played that, you know exactly what I mean. Solve the puzzle lots of different ways. That's what makes the game the most fun. <laughs> This is the stuff that I think I will be reaching for on a regular basis. Okay, I'm gonna take all this stuff out again and I'm gonna put it on the floor next to the drawer and I'm gonna put everything else that I didn't, don't need to store in here and I'm gonna take it out. Okay, so now that I've decluttered, I've decided what's going to stay in here and what's gonna go and I can see the space empty and I've cleaned it out, I can make decisions about what kind of organizing solution I wanna use in the space. Uh, in a lot of cases, you don't need to do that at all. You don't need to go out and buy products. You can either use something you have around the house, you can use empty boxes, or you can just put things in undivided. You know, sometimes it can get a little chaotic with items. You know, you gotta do an offspring. You gotta keep them separated. But otherwise, you're free to do whatever solution works for you. So in this case, I want to do sort of clear drawer organizers. And before I go out and buy anything, the most important part of going out and buying things is knowing exactly what dimensions you are working with. So I've got my handy dandy tape here and I can see that this is about 22 inches wide, 17, well not quite 17, a little, maybe like 16 and a half inches deep and about five inches high. So I wanna go out and buy solutions that I think will fit in the space. I don't completely have to like go out and solve this whole like puzzle right away. I can, I can buy extras and whatever I don't use, I can bring back to the store. That's what's great. My mop is mopping behind me and it's making a lot of noise, but I hope you guys don't mind that noise, I'm sorry. <laughs> so I went to the container store and I bought some organizers and I'm gonna see how they fit into this drawer. I bought a bunch of these like it bricks because I like them, but they're um, they're a little pricey. So I say you know you don't have to go and like go all out and go crazy and do this. I happen to really like the way that they're flat and they're just tall enough to fit in there perfectly. Uh, I mean, can you see that? Does that make you happy? It makes me happy. So I'm gonna do a little like experimenting and see what combination I like the best. I bought a couple of packs of dividers to use in them as well. Um, so I am gonna not turn the camera off during this process so you guys can see what actually happens because it's not a perfect process, you guys. Sometimes I make mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes, but you know what? It's okay to make mistakes. It took me 42 years to accept the fact that it's okay to make mistakes because I was one of those kids who didn't want to make mistakes, didn't want to raise my hand in case I had the wrong answer. No, screw that. Make mistakes, learn more while you're making mistakes. There you go. If you take anything away from that video, it's okay to make mistakes. I mean, don't like, you know, hurt people to make mistakes, but you know. You can like screw up an organizing thing and it's, it's fine. The satisfaction, the satisfaction. Okay, so because I think I can accommodate two levels of items, here, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep this like extra one. Um, there's also a little space here, which is like its own organizer, which is great. Um, because maybe this can be like my period area. Uh, Cause you know, you don't need that stuff all the time. Actually, can it go in the back? No, it can't. Um, Cause there's, there's a pipe situation. You can't have this height all the way back. So maybe this can be up here and we can do that. We can definitely do that. Um, so I think, some of my period stuff might go here. And you know, this way when I'm having a moment, I can, you know, take this out or I hate it, you guys. <laughs> okay, honestly, this never goes this well. This toothbrush fits right in here and I'm kind of living for it. So just the toothpaste would go in there too. Oh my gosh. Perfection, I cannot, I cannot. Okay, I think I'm committed to this setup, so um, for those of you who are probably yelling at your screen right now, I will take off the labels from these organizers. <laughs> 
now that I'm committed, we're gonna take off the labels and it's gonna be fine. So here we go. Everything is much more organized and I'm very, very much more likely to find things. So, oh, I wanted to show you guys the situation with the pipe. So I can't really have things too far back that are super high or it, they'll hit the pipe. But the way that it is right now is perfect and nothing hits the pipe, so yay. Uh, but anyway, let's go through a little tour. So here's all the scarves and stuff I do. Um, I wear at night when I um, go to sleep, and in the morning, sometimes I put these little scarfies on. Ooh, this one still has the tag on it. I got it from Anthropology a few weeks ago on sale, so I'm gonna have to break that out soon because it's really cute, actually, maybe today. But um, that's where those things go. I had had them in my closet, and it just didn't work to have those in there for me, so this is where I do my hair. This is where I get ready for bed, so this makes the most sense. So <laughs> a big tip that I always tell clients is keep things where you use them. And I do try to practice what I preach, you know, most of the time. So here's myself correcting my own mistake. Um, and you know, you'll do that, some of that stuff too. You'll live with stuff for a little bit and then you'll be like, well, this is not working for me. Try something new, don't be afraid. All right, so here is all my hair products and I've narrowed them down from like trying all the products in the world to just a few that I know work for me. So I've got my Not Today conditioner, which is the best conditioner on the market for curly hair. I don't know if you guys have tried this, if you have like curly or really, really, um, well, curly textured hair, this is the best for detangling because it's got the best slip. I mean, not sponsor. I wish it was really honestly, but this is the best conditioner. It's super stupid expensive, but it's the only thing that works well for me. And I've got some almond olive heavy cream. Love that for moisturizing. Got some detangling ghee here for hair washing days. And this stuff is awesome too. This is the curls blueberry bliss curl control paste. Sometimes I use that on my edges and uh, you know, the trusty water bottle went to spray the dry curls. <laughs> Finally, I have put some feminine care products in the store. They have not been in the store for a while. I took out like the whole separate thing of panty liners. I just incorporated them with the rest of the pads. So we've got nighttime, daytime panty liners and the whole ray of tampons. They look like little, you know, candies in here, which they're, they aren't, they're just, they're horrible, but necessary. By the way, this Ultra is the highest, highest absorbency that like Playtex makes and you can only get it at Walgreens. Why is that? Walgreens or Amazon? Oh, somebody's here. Here is like the leftover hair stuff that I don't use very much. So like the clips and like some, um, you know, bobby pins and stuff. And this is where the Trishy wipes ended up. I can still reach these from the toilet. Um, if not, I can try something, but I really needed to use this big thing for the hair stuff because it just didn't fit over here. Um, but we'll see, I'll live with it for a while. Got the extra razor blades and stuff and then the extra razor thing. I have two, um, razor razors for shaving you know parts of your person but um right now i don't have the a head for that one i have another one in the shower um and, they, and this one these are for the one that's in the shower anyway so we'll just you know use all those up and maybe eventually i'll buy another head for this one who knows um and here are my two supplements this vitamin c and the iron and then the charger for the toothbrush listerine toothbrush toothpaste fits perfectly o m g i can't body care and um this uh, the like washing thing for my wedding rings and my engagement ring so it's jewelry cleaner basically it's inside the bag because these these con these containers are never very like tight they always spill so i keep it inside a little ziploc bag 
that I've been saving for like, I think I've had that for like a year or something. <laughs> anyway, I uh, got some stuff for my psoriasis. I've got all kinds of skin conditions, you guys. <laughs> um, but this basically is for taking off makeup. So I've got my Bioderma and I also have some cleansing oil and I have these um, makeup wipes and you guys, not make makeup wipes, but cotton rounds. But these are um, reusable cotton rounds. Uh, they're made from microfiber and you put them in the washing machine and they come out um, mostly clean. As you can see, some of them get stained with your foundation and stuff, but they come out really mostly clean so far and I've been using these for about a month and I really like them. So um, I'm not a completely, you know, waste, no way, zero waste person, but I do try to take some steps to reduce waste. I just, just tiny steps, you know, I am not a perfect person in terms of like environmental footprint and all that stuff, but I do try to make changes um, that are, you know, small and then I can make and, you know, I try to make changes over time. So that was one change that I chose to make. And so far, I think it's really nice. I like these. They feel nice and um, they wash up really well. I got them on Amazon and I keep them in a the little container and I use these to take off my makeup. So love that. And then I've got all my little skincare products that I use mostly. Um, here, so these are the ones that I'm, I'm most likely to reach for. Like there's a little toner and um, there's a little mask that I use here sometimes that I'll wash off in the shower. Some um, AHA uh, stuff, the oil I use every night before bed. And this is my daytime moisturizer and I've got space for, you know, a splurge or a surprise. <laughs> so that is my new bathroom drawer all organized. I am quite the pleased person. I did end up with two extra little organizers. I think I will donate these to my husband's project. Oh, and an extra little divider as well that's in here. My husband did want this project done to his drawer too, so I think I will save these for his project. I just wanted to do an experiment on mine first to see how these worked, and I do think these are really, really nice. Um, gosh, today's my last day to use the discount on this stuff, so I think I'll ask him, and I'll just buy it, and so he can have you know, a nice fun time with this stuff too. I think he's gonna really appreciate it. So guys, that is a look into my organizing process, decluttering process, and I just wanted to show you guys what the actual process was like as opposed to, you know, me showing some crazy mess in the beginning and then showing you what it looked like at the end. I wanna take you guys through sort of what I'm thinking, what the process is really like, um, and I hope this was educational, entertaining, and fun for you guys to watch. I hope it inspires you to organize your own space at home. If you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you like videos like this, Go ahead and subscribe, it's totally free. And supporting the channel feeds a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel named Clover, and he loves all of you guys. He goes, you know, one subscribe equals one lick on the face. All right, you guys, I gotta go. I got opera rehearsal this evening. I will see you in the next one. Take care, bye. Oh, my son is here. Hello, hi. Oh, you need a hug. Okay, i give you a hug first. You gotta go back to sleep. This dog like never refuses a hug. He loves to hug. He loves to like cuddle, be right up in your like business. It, I think it's a cavalier thing, but he's like very much into like hugging.com. Okay, please. Okay, I know, yes, hugs. Hugs all around. This is our ritual actually when I come back in the house. If I've been gone for a while and he greets me, I have to sit down on the floor, he gets in my lap, and we do a little hug session. And you know what? I'll hate it. I actually kind of live for it. Who doesn't want to get that greeting? I mean, hugging dogs is pretty much like, we don't deserve that. Our, you know, okay, 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 enough with the face kisses, okay.